morning. So I've had a really good morning this morning. I worked out this morning. I did a 45 minute spin class and then I also did a half hour spin class. And then I also did some upper body stuff because my lower body is so sore right now. Uh, just from like lifting and squats from the last couple of days and I just couldn't do another leg workout Especially after that spinning now. I'm actually in our guest room right now. My hair is disgusting I have to shower, but um, I'm in our guest room right now And I'm gonna clean this all up today because my sister is gonna be staying here for the next couple of days well, she's gonna stay here tomorrow when she gets home from Vegas, but my parents have some friends coming into town, so my sister is gonna stay here, and I just want it to be, you know, right for her. I'm gonna clean the sheets and, um, you know, get the TV all hooked up and everything, so that should be good. But I also need to go through this guest room closet. I won't show you right now, but I need to go through the guest room closet because this is kind of the closet that we just throw all of like the extra stuff into, so. We have to stop doing that. I need to go through it and just throw a bunch of stuff out. So that's what I'm about to do now. After I get that done, I have to take my first exam in my real estate class. Like we did, I think it was like four or five different units and now we have to take the first exam. It's not the state exam or anything, it's just the exam within the course. So I have to do that. It's Alex took it last night and he said it was really hard. He did okay on it, but I'm like really nervous about it because as I told you guys, I'm not a great test taker. So hopefully it's okay. I mean, I can retake it if I don't do well, but I mean, that's just a lot of time to have to retake it, you know, because I think it's probably going to take me at least an hour to get done. It's a hundred questions. <sighs> so we'll see. And then after that, I'll be making dinner for us for tonight. We're making fajita stuffed chicken and we're just going to uh, bake it. So I just, you can just Google fajita stuffed chicken. There are so many different recipes for it. I will link one down below. I, I'm not gonna really go by a recipe. I'm just kind of going by what I think sounds good. So um, I'll link a couple that are similar to mine, but I, I've seen a couple of really good ones and I'm just gonna make some modifications to mine. But I'll try to show you guys that as I'm making it. Nala loves to lay on the cool floor, don't you? You like that spot? She's been so cuddly with me today all day. She like won't leave my side. I love you. I got the room clean, I got the closet organized, and now I'm getting ready to start my exam. So this is gonna take a little while and then I'll be cooking later. But I did want to tell you guys about this little sweater that I have on because a lot of you guys have asked. I've been wearing it in like all of my videos lately because it's just like my lounging gear at home. It's like I just wear this whenever I'm at home because it's so big and flowy and I just love it. I'm so comfortable in it. I don't think it gets more comfortable than this. So I just got it at Target. They have all different sizes. I think they have like small to two or three X. Um, you do have to get it in the store. I think you have to get it in store. I think I might have seen that online that you have to get it in store. I'll, I'll try to link it down below if you can get it online. Um, but I'll put the link for it down below. I think there's separate ones for plus size and the regular size. So I'll put it down below for you guys. But it was super cheap. Like I think I got this half off a while ago when they had a little sale going on. So it was like 20 bucks or 15 bucks or something like that, but it's totally worth it. But 100% you have got to size down because this thing is huge. Like seriously, I would size like two sizes down. If you wear a large, get a small. Like that's just, I'm, I promise you, you'll be happy that you did because it's just so oversized. Okay, so I got an 83% and I'm really not that happy with it, but I have to tell you guys, this took me two freaking hours to do and it was so hard. So I really do need to be proud of it because I think you just have to have a 70 to pass. So I'm, you know, right in the middle. But I'm like so weird about it because I just want to have all hundreds in my grade book. So I just don't know if I can spend another two hours doing it when I already passed. Like, I don't know. I don't know what to do. But I need to not be a perfectionist in this. I need to learn, you know, what I actually missed and learn from it and just, just move on. So I think I'm just gonna do this little review right here, see what I missed and see what the correct answers are, write them down and move on. But oh my gosh, that was so hard. I'm getting ready to cook now. I really can't believe how hard that was. So I've just got the peppers and zucchini cooking. I'm using zucchini instead of onions. I know literally they're opposite, but that's what I'm using because Alex doesn't like onions. So gotta get the phone. Okay, so anyways, like I was saying, I'm using the zucchini instead of onions just to fill, this is gonna be used as the filling basically for 
the chicken and I'm also gonna use cream cheese and we'll see what else, like what other spices I use. But just in here, I have like a teaspoon of olive oil, extra virgin olive oil that I just got at Aldi, some minced garlic, and multicolored peppers and zucchini, so it's super easy. So while that's cooking over there, I just chopped up the zucchini and then I'm going to put some spices on the asparagus and put it on here to roast it. I'm just gonna roast them for like 20 minutes or whatever. I really like when they're thin too. I hate when they're thick. I can't stand thick asparagus, gross. Uh, but I'm also gonna do some yellow squash too for Alex because he likes that as well. Here's what the inside is going to look like. This is the filling for the chicken. It's cream cheese, garlic, garlic lovers flavor god, and then the vegetables. So hopefully it tastes really good once it's stuffed and baked and everything. I think we're gonna bake it, not grill it, just because it's kind of nasty outside today. And the asparagus. This is just gonna go in the oven at 400 degrees for about 20 minutes. All I put on it was a little drizzle of olive oil and some garlic flavor god and then a little bit of freshly grated parmesan i'm telling you this is like my favorite way to eat uh, asparagus i will say though because these are so thin i might go a little bit less than 20 minutes just because i don't want them to be too crispy but i'll know when they're perfect so i'll let you know how long i ended up cooking them so here's dinner this one's alex's he has just the zucchini and the squash and then i have zucchini and squash and asparagus and it's the fajita stuffed chicken. So I'm really, really, really excited. I did try a little bit because I wanted to make sure it tasted good and it's delicious. So I hope he likes it too. Oh, also I cooked the asparagus. I roasted it at 400 for only 15 minutes because they're so thin. So I didn't do the 20 minutes like I usually would. So I'm struggling right now because we've been looking at new beds for a while now. Um, I found this bed that I just absolutely love. It's from Z Gallery, but it's like $2,000. And honestly, I just don't want to spend that much money right now on something like that. So I've been looking at other alternatives and I went on Overstock and I found something I really, really like and Alex likes it too. Like we don't even have a headboard right now. Our, my bed, is literally from my house when I lived at my parents' house. Like it's old and it, we just, we need something new. So we're gonna start with like the bed frame and then we'll probably get a new mattress at some point whenever we can go shopping for one. But anyways, I'm getting off on a tangent now. But I'm gonna show you guys what this one looks like. It's only 400 bucks and I found a $40 off coupon plus it's 15% off right now, everything on the website. And I'll also get Ebates. So I'll get money back from Ebates, which is awesome. If you guys don't use Ebates and you shop online, you're totally missing out. I'll link it down below so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But you can get money back, just free money basically. Like you cannot beat it. So I'll show you guys what this looks like. It's gray. All of our bedding is gray and white and just like neutral, you know? So this is, I just love it. I love the look of it. But I wanted to show you these little studs on it. I don't know if you can see but I just love the way that that looks. So I think that's what we're gonna go with. The other one that I liked was similar to this, but it had like a little front thing too. Um, and it had, you know, a little bit nicer studs, I'm sure. But for the price, I just feel like you just can't beat this and I think we have to do it. Plus the shipping is really quick and we will get it this week.